Basically, they're musicians. The show is a theatrical show, and there's a lot of theatrics involved, obviously. But they are basically musicians. They, they are also artists, in the sense of art artists. How did they get started? They got started about 11 years ago. As most bands do, they just got to know each other back in Louisiana, and they got together and formed this band. So do they have musical or art background? Yes, both. Well, it's, it's hard for me to say for them how they classify it, because basically, you know, they have their own ideas on how they exactly do, but unfortunately, we haven't all been filled in on this. Um, it's, it's real multidimensional. The music has a lot of different things. It's, it comes from classical backgrounds, rock backgrounds, all different kinds of music put into one at many levels. Why have the residents chosen to play in Washington? Well, they were asked to be part of this new Music America Festival, which was real exciting to them because this show is their only East Coast date. This is the first time they've ever played on the East Coast, and being asked to do New Music America was a real thrill for them, and this show is specifically done for that, and it's an exclusive show to the East Coast, and it's their debut here. They've only done, in America, they've only played Los Angeles and San Francisco, so this is really a rare appearance. Can you tell us a little bit about the Mole Trilogy? The Mole Trilogy is, at this point, two albums. There are two albums of the Mole Trilogy. There's Mark of the Mole and there's Tunes of Two Cities. And there will be a third part of the Mole Trilogy, eventually. 
they don't know when. You know, they're working on it. They're they're artists. But the mole, the storyline, the two the two mole albums are what makes up the show tonight, the Residence Mole Show. And what it is, it's about the strife between the two cultures, the moles and the chubs. And the moles live underground and they get forced out of their homeland. And the show tonight is about what happens to them when they're forced to leave their home. Your music is said to be in, to pick up where Frank Zappa's left off. Is Frank Zappa a musical influence? And if not, who are some? Well, I don't necessarily think they say Zappa is a direct musical influence, although a lot of writers tend to say that. As far as their musical influences, they don't tell us a whole lot. I know that um, they all seem to like musical soundtracks and a lot of composers like that. But to be honest with you, they've never really told me. What kind of secret of these guys are. What's next for the residents? What's next for the residents? Hopefully part three of the Mole Trilogy, but they also may do some video work next. Um, they are very involved in video and hope to do some more of that. They'll go, they'll go back to San Francisco and kind of play it by ear, see what happens next. Did they ever plan to finish Violence Bats, one of their uh, projects several years ago? Uh, that I don't know. Is this a serious I think they'd say it's pretty serious. The, if you're wondering why they wear the eyeballs, which you probably are, um, they wear the eyeballs because they really want the music to stand on its own. A lot of times when you have a rock band, the people that are in that band become the music. They become the personality and everyone says, oh, there's so-and-so and he's, that's the band. Whereas this, at this point, possibly the music will stand on its own. Hopefully it will because that's really what their main concern is. How do you know that's who you're um, You don't. We don't. God, is it? Yeah, that's them, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What can we expect tonight's performance? I think you can expect a lot tonight. Um, this show is, as I said earlier, done specifically for this festival. It's pretty much a one-time only thing. We did some shows in Europe over the summer. We did 30 shows through 11 countries. And coming back this week, we re they really realized they wanted to be a little spontaneous and come up with a different, something special, something that wasn't quite what they did in Europe or what they did in Los Angeles because this coast has never seen the residents and this is really the one-time only thing. So I think you can expect a lot. Where is the show? The show's at the Pension Building, 5th and G Street. It's a beautiful building. They're thrilled to be playing there.